Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of R Programming Language. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about regular expressions in R. So what is regular expression? It's nothing but a sequence of characters that matches a pattern in a piece of text or a text file. So we're gonna take some examples today in this video. Uh, so uh, which will help you understand the concept of regular expressions. The, uh, now let's get it started. So I've already have opened up my R terminal here. So first of all, uh, for this uh, little uh, uh, demo, we'll be requiring one package called uh, string R. So let's load that library first. Then we'll talk about the things later on. All right, it's uh, now got loaded. So uh, I've already have prepared one notepad file here. So I'll be using this as a base for this today's video. So uh, for this uh, little thing, I'll be using some of these strings as the base, as the sample uh, strings so that we can test our functions over there. Actually, the regular expressions are uh, consisting of multiple, uh, like uh, uh, multiple expressions, like with the likes of small d, capital D, small w, capital W. So we'll discuss everything one by one, right? So first of all, uh, uh, to get started, first of all, I'm loading this as a string in my R console. Let's get loaded first. So this is loaded as a ch. Ch is my string, which is consisting of these expressions, these uh, things like big data, is there any solution and all. So first of all, uh, we'll be using one function called str underscore extract underscore all. So it will be taking two parameters. First, the, uh, the text of interest. Second, the element to be extracted. So first of all, uh, uh, as I've already told you, like I've prepared everything here, so I'll be just do using it one by one. First of all, let's see how we can extract all the dots or periods from the text, right? So I'm just copy and pasting the code on my R console. Let's see what's the result will be. So the very first thing is in which we're going to extract all the dots or a period in the text. Actually, in this case, you can see like the first string doesn't have any uh, dot or period. Second doesn't have any dot or period. Third is having, fourth is having and then this one is having, right? So it will be returning uh, these things. You can see it here, third is having one, right? Fourth is having two, then the sixth is having two, so it's got returned here. So this is my first function through which we can extract the dots or a periods from the text, right? This is the first little expression that we had tried here. Let's get, uh, let's move further. Next one is, let's uh, see uh, how I can extract all the digits from this ch string. For this, we'll be using small d. The small d or a lowercase d uh, help us in uh, getting the digits right from zero to nine. So let's see. Uh, in my in my expression in my string, I'm having some digits available. Let's see. So I'm pasting it here. You can see it here. Like in the last three uh, is returning the digits. You can see from the expression as well. Last three is having digits. The first three doesn't have any digits. First four, right? Big data, is there any solution? Doesn't have any digits. The last three is having digits. So the last three things got returned here. So this is how we can extract the digits from the given string, right? Moving further, then we have a capital D available, the uppercase D. It'll uh, catch everything else but the digits or we can say it's the opposite of the small d. Okay, so let's see. Uh, now it'll be, the result will be opposite to the small d here. So in this case, if I'm just moving it here, you can see uh, it is it is uh, returning us everything else the digits means except the digits, everything will be returned. You can see it here. No digits you will see in the output. There's no digit. Rest everything has been returned. Characters, special characters, special symbols, everything got returned except the digits. This is called uppercase D. So in all the uh, examples so far, I'm using the same function str underscore extract underscore all. Moving further, then we have a small w available. The small w means word character. Word character, it will be uh, matching with lowercase a to z, capital A to z and zero to nine and underscore. Okay, you can see it here. It matches uh, that include a to z small, a to z capital zero to nine and underscore here. Let's see uh, how we can make use of it. So I'm using this a uh, small w here and let's see what will be the result. So I'm just pasting, pasting it here. You can see everything got returned here like small and uppercase characters plus the digits because I've told you it will be returning small a to z, capital A to z, zero to nine and underscore. So these things got returned here, right? This is how we can make use of small w. Then we have a capital W or uppercase W available. It ex extracts everything but the word character. So we can say it's opposite to the small w. So whatever the result small w has, uh, has given to us, 
it will be returning uh, exactly opposite so in this case uh, let's see what will be the result you can see so other things which were not covered by small w it has uh, it been covered by the capital w here right i hope it's uh, so far it's okay then we have a, a, a small b and capital b available small b meaning is a word boundary capital me b means not a word boundary let's see what what it means first of all i'll be having one string available this is bliss i'm putting in a uh, st here let's see how this word boundary thing work so word boundary uh, let me take one example in this case i'm using small b small b means it catches the word boundary the word boundary we are uh, checking it out is is you can see word boundary meaning is like this is the word boundary because in this case there is nothing left side or right side it is uh, itself is a like independent we can say uh, characters okay so this there is nothing uh, to the left to the right that's why it's a boundary so it will be returning this is it means there will be a single is will be returned although we have a other is available as well but it's, it's not a word boundary because there is a uh, there is something available in the either side so if i'm just uh, calling it here you can see is only is one single is is returned it is because of this middle is it's a word boundary then if i'm moving it further so if i'm using uh, i'm just uh, uh, applying this capital b here it in this case you'll be getting two is one will be from this one is one is will be from the bliss so it is the two is got returned in this case so we we got here the two is because of the fact these are not the word boundaries next point coming up here so in this case i'm again using another uh, another uh, st set of strings for my further functions so in this case i'm having uh, three text available in this uh, uh, sts you can see this is me this that's my channel unboxing big data this is the um, the set of uh, text i'm using for my further examples so next one is uh, let's suppose i want to uh, find out all the exclamation points that's in the sentence in this case although we can see it very clearly that only this unboxing big data is having the exclamation mark at the end let's see how we can make use of it because here we are using the dollar right so dollar meaning is end of string it's another expression we are having it meaning is end of string let's see how we can make use of it so if i'm using this you can see only one thing got returned because i've already told you it it uh, indicates the end of string so this is uh, we are finding all the exclamation point points that ending a sentence it is only one right next one is uh, now next point is it's str underscore detect earlier we were uh, finding all the exclamation points now let's try to find out the sentence actually sentence that's end with the exclamation point now the answer will be unboxing big data so in this case i'm using str underscore detect so let's see you can see unboxing big data got returned right so dollar meaning is end of string okay so moving it further next one is it's a uh, uh, find a sentence that starts with this for starting the uh, for beginning of a string we have this cap available for so the cap is used to indicates the beginning of a string so it's also a part of regular expression let's see although we know that only this is me will be uh, which is matching with this uh, expression let's see so this is me got returned here right this the up uh, this cap indicates the beginning of a string all right moving further then we have another example we can take in which uh, we are finding a sentences that starts with t in this case there are two sentences uh, which is starting with t and it it got returned in this case this is me and that's my channel so this is got returned here with the uh, cap next one is uh, let's now make use of uh, the a uh, square bracket square bracket is also a regular expression we can use which matches the characters or a bracket so in this case we are giving a range here so uh, extract everything in between 2 to 4 in my uh, again we are using uh, the same ch which have used earlier the ch1 in this case uh, the last three is having some uh, numbers available so it will be matching these numbers let's see here so we are uh, making use of uh, str underscore uh, extract underscore all but in this case the major thing is this a uh, uh, square brackets in which we are giving a range 2 to 4 so whatever is matching with 2 to 4 will be returned so in the last three uh, text we have the numbers available that's why the 2 to 4 got returned in this case right moving further next we are having uh, let's suppose we need to now uh, let's now move it to the little more complex example in this case we are making use of uh, this uh, we we going to now extract the phone numbers from the ch 
so phone numbers meaning is like these are the kind of a phone numbers we can uh, think of like in this case we have to write the expression for these three phone numbers as we all know that small d is representing the digit so uh, because of the fact we are having three hyphen three hyphen or three uh, some symbol three some symbol then we have a four numbers available in the same way we have to write uh, in this case let's see if i'm using the same expression it will be matching with the three phone numbers which is there at the last three of the ch so you can see it here so last three numbers got returned as the result so we can also shorten uh, this complete notation with the curly brackets let's see how we can make use of it the same thing can be written like this as well it's a similar thing but with the shortened notation so three meaning is exact three in this case the curly bracket three meaning is we are specifying exact number so when we are when you are pretty much sure that you are matching with the exact number then you can uh, enclose it with the curly bracket so let's see it will be returning the same result but it's a shortened notation we can say so the same result got returned in this case as well but in this case it's a more optimal way of writing the query in which we are making use of curly brackets means uh, it's the exact number whatever is enclosed in the curly brackets then we are having uh, another uh, thing available uh, now uh, if you want to go with go to the mid, uh, more more we can say more specific actually in these numbers uh, we all know that uh, this uh, hyphen we generally write to uh, just to ex uh, separate the maybe uh, the code with the phone number right and we generally we also use dot as well but the, we, we never use asterisk let's suppose i want to only extract the phone numbers which is having a separator either hyphen or a, either dot for that we gonna just uh, just write this in, a, in a another, another way in which the asterisk will be uh, will be exempted okay not be there as my, as a part of my result so this, everything will be uh, all the phone numbers will be returned ex except the numbers which is having the asterisk in between because asterisk uh, we never consider as a phone number so you can see it here it is actually ex actually the same uh, uh, query as of the previous one but uh, one thing got not got returned it's the asterisk one because we're not specifying we're not specifying here we're just specifying either hyphen either dot should be the separator of the phone numbers not the asterisk so asterisk will not be a part of my result right this is the meaning next one is uh, again uh, for further example we are taking another uh, another set of uh, phone numbers let's load it first then we'll talk about the things in a while all right so now i'm again loading some set of numbers in the ph as a phone number now very first thing is now here uh, for this example we're going to talk about the group okay whenever we are using the uh, parenthesis it's a group so let's see what's the meaning of this entire line okay let's first load it first then i'll uh, explain what's the meaning of these things one by one or step by step so i'm just copy and pasting the things here all right this is got uh, uh, pasted now again call the uh, str underscore extract underscore all in which the first argument we all know as a expression then the uh, first one is the uh, ph the input data then the expression let's first see what's the result then explain the things one by one okay so what it means first of all in this case we are using the group group is represented by the uh, parenthesis okay so uh, let's let's break the things one by one so let's see it here what it means the very first thing is we are having is that uh, okay let's first we have a this group available this group right in this case the 2 to 9 represent one digit from 2 to 9 that we already have covered in the previous uh, example then we have the uh, this curly bracket available right 2 to 9 0 to 9 means it is matching with the uh, 2 to 9 means we are ex excluding 0 and 1 at very first position at second position we are specifying that uh, it is uh, it, this represent two digits from 0 to 9 okay so this indicates two digits from 0 to 9 this first indicates uh, all the digits x from 2 to 9 it is from 0 to 9 okay so it is matching with this so you can see in the very uh, first character we are ignoring the 0 or 1 okay we are not including the 0 and 1 in this case right then we are having second group available second group again consists of uh, uh, this hyphen or uh, dot means it can be either hyphen or dot we are using also the question mark question mark means that dot and hyphen are optional it, mean, it means if there is blank available still it will be okay like in this case this is a blank available still it is we it is returning the result right so uh, this question mark indicates 
uh, that both uh, after that means that hyphen and dot are optional if it's blank that's also okay next we have the uh, another uh, same set of groups available it is that almost the same you can see it here then 0 to 9 means as uh, 0 to 9 means uh, this means that three numbers from 0 to 9 right because we are specifying with the curly bracket exactly we are matching and then we again have the same set of expression right so at last we are specifying four numbers here we have a three numbers here we have a uh, for the first number we have a, a, a like separate uh, condition that we are not including from 0 to 1 the phone number which is starting from 0 to 1 it is from 2 to 9 this is from 0 to 9 two numbers then we have a same set of expression right i hope the things are clear all right moving further now uh, next one is uh, let's suppose if we want to find a phone number that starts with 800 and 900 for that we can actually fix the things like we are we are fixing it here 89 in the square brackets followed by 00 it means uh, either it will be 800 or 900 it will be matched exactly then we have a similar set of expression let's run it here as well okay so this is how we can find the phone number that starts with 800 or 900 okay so again we are going with that so this one it is op actually the same as the previous example but with a little variation we are trying it here they try to find a phone number which is starting in 900 or 800 you can see it here it got returned here all right moving further now we are having uh, earlier we were, we were working with the digits and other stuff now let's see let's see how we can work with the mails so for the email uh, we have the expression available this is the expression we're gonna take as a sample so let's load it first uh, it is stored in the email so for that i'm gonna use this expression okay so what it means again uh, we are having a lot of things available let's see how we can extract different formats of mail addresses so uh, the first work on the part is before the at the rate sign because every mail has at the rate available so uh, the first part can have the lowercase characters that can be detected using a to z small a to z it can have a uh, uh, uppercase characters it can be uh, extracted with the capital a to z then we can have a digits can be from 0 to 9 right this is can be done with a 0 to 9 special characters like dot and underscore this is dot and underscore all right so we can write these things before at the rate sign and one more thing you are now seeing it here is a plus sign what is plus sign here plus sign indicates one or more of those characters okay it means like it doesn't mean that we are matching only one right it can be a more than one uh, it can be one or more of these characters it means we can have more than one digits available we can have more than one lowercase thing available that's why we have a plus available then we have a at the rate sign available afterwards afterwards we are having a uh, uh, this uh, next expression available it is exactly same right it consists of uppercase characters lowercase characters and digits can be detected with the a to z capital a to z and uh, 0 to 9 right all right then we have a uh, again plus available means again one or more characters afterwards we have the uh, again we have a group available the group can be either com adu net or org okay so this is uh, what we are having right i hope now things are clear let's see copy uh, pasting it here done and then i'm extracting all the mails which is uh, fulfilling this criteria although uh, the first three is fulfilling the criteria right the th last one is not fulfilling the criteria all right that's why we got this uh, three answers here all right wait let me see it here if we can all right actually uh, i mistakenly written here underscore it was hyphen now you can see all the four mails got returned because i was wondering that why the fourth mail is not coming although it's match it's fulfilling all the criteria i just mistakenly use here uh, underscore instead of hyphen all right so let's see the last one now in this case we have some urls available let's load those urls let's see how we can extract something from urls as well this is the last example of this video let's now complete it okay so in this case uh, we are having uh, this some some missing part available let me see okay uh, what they say one two three
free okay wait, okay there's a extra comma available sorry there's extra comma available that's why it's coming so let's uh, load it again uh, there are some mistakes the thing is we should know how to troubleshoot this is the main thing right so urls got loaded properly now let's see how what's the meaning of this okay this expression that we are using so we all know that the url can be start with http or https so for that we are using this https uh, question mark we already know what is question mark here so it means http uh, will stay intact then there is a we have this uh, question mark available uh, so s is optional here uh, if s is not there still http will be accommodated it may or it not be there uh, after another optional part is uh, then colon this uh, this one because we all know the urls can have uh, www or not as well it means the facebook.com is legitimate uh, url and www.uhub.com is also a legitimate uh, url it's not a, a big deal so in this case what we are doing is we are uh, making it optional okay that's why we are putting it here question mark okay so www is optional part here uh, we all know that uh, this this one is is nothing but a group right so we are grouping here uh, www and we are grouping here dot after the parenthesis we are having the uh, question mark means whole term inside the parenthesis is optional so that's a point that this is completely is optional part if it's there well and good if it's not there still well and good right this may not miss this may or this may not be there then there is a uh, domain name available in this uh, set of mail addresses uh, we can uh, only have the lower characters and uh, underscore right so let's see it here we are using this uh, w plus okay w means word character that we already have covered that may include lower case characters upper case characters and digits that we already talked about in a previous example the plus indicates that there might be one or more of those characters okay so this we already covered and then we have the uh, then there is a one more dot and one more characters available so this is what we can do with this dot okay so we have uh, the one dot can be noted by the this uh, this uh, uh, this uh, two forward slash dot then we have the uh, then we have this uh, com dot net com or net available i have already have told you that this is a group okay so com uh, com and net uh, will be the part let's see uh, how we can make use of it let's see what it will be returning first let's check out the output this is got returned okay now let's now extract the urls which is matching with this criteria okay you can see it here the yahoo.com uh, this facebook.com studio base these things got returned not the ml part because ml we are not giving in my group at the last you can see it here we're not using uh, right this is the point so i hope you must have understood the things right uh, i have made use of uh, i guess all the examples whatever is required for the expressions in case if something is not clear or if you find something which i said is wrong you can comment on my video i'll be happy to address these things right so uh, one thing which which i miss is this uh, this pipe symbol pipe symbol meaning is either or either com either net right so this uh, marks the end of this video i hope you must have understood all the points thanks for watching see you next video